Hello all. Thank you for stopping in. I just wanted to say a couple words about Nibiru. This will be a topic of much discussion in the coming weeks or months. Um, there's only so much longer that they will be able to hide this from us. Soon they won't be able to hide it in the sky. This thing is massive, massive. Um, and this is something that I see or that I feel is overlooked by, by many and, and not really given enough attention that this is the pinnacle of what's going down. This brings the change that Earth and all who live on it will go through. This is the main event. But without getting into all that, I just let's, let's focus on the bare bone facts, okay? Is that there is an approaching planetary system, not documented in your scholastic books, and you don't hear about it on the mainstream news yet. And it is right in our backyard. It is known by scientists, mainstream and underground alike, that it exists. And I've seen it with my own two eyes. I've recorded it, and so have many others across the globe. And the government and shadow government are covering this up. However it plays out, don't care. I just know that it's being covered up intentionally. Anyway, my point being, it is real. It is here. And um, it often gets overlooked. So I just wanted to put that at the forefront of your mind, that whenever you may come across some doubt about any of this, just think about that, all right? You cannot stop that. It is not a hoax. You can go back, do your research into, the, I think it was the 1950s that they first discovered this. There was much buzz about it. You know, they call it brown dwarf, whatever they're calling it. And uh, it's there, man. And it will be here. Whatever cockamamie BS they bring up, you can rest assured it's gonna be a lie. Hopefully comms will still be up and, and or however it may be. I don't know how it's going to play out. I'm not going to pretend I do. I don't care. I'm enjoying the ride. But I just want to keep it at the forefront of your mind that this is ground zero. This is what you can lean back on and then start to branch out like the reptilians and the brainwashing, the mass manipulation, the cellular manipulation, all of the madness that we signed up for. You can start to really take it in and just understand that it's reality. All right, get over it and just start to accept it. The only thing that it takes to change the course of devastation for this planet is awareness and thinking in the right direction. So once you just know, okay, I get it. I see now, uh, I can't believe I was so stupid and okay, let's move on. Then you start to radiate that truth. And then people around you, they slowly but surely, even my stone cold, a sleep wife is not so stone cold anymore because they inherently have the light in them everyone does so when you radiate it and you radiate the truth it soaks into them and whether they like it or not it will start tugging on them they can still choose to deny it they can still choose to stay asleep they can do whatever they want and don't pressure don't push they will wake up in their own time and if they don't it was not their time to wake up. They still have some growing to do, some learning to do. But no, that's how it works, right? I mean, think about it. When a new trend comes through, like a new song or a TV show or an item, like a piece of clothing, it's awareness of that item or that entertainment that makes everyone grab onto it. You can take a look at any pop culture, like a band or a movie or a piece of clothing, and all of that was made popular by awareness. You know, people coming in and finding out and then taking it to a friend or talking about it or wearing it, it other people gravitated towards it and hence it grew. This works on the same principle, only this is knowledge and the awareness of reality. Once you become aware of it, you start thinking about it, then boom, it radiates out and other people start soaking it up. And that's how it works on that end. That is the key to blowing this wide open. That is truly the key. There are so many things being hidden from us and reality is so much stranger than fiction. We've been lied to about absolutely everything 
So Nibiru is just a, a way to <clears throat> ground yourself, right? Ground yourself in, in, in the fundamental reality that things aren't what they seem, and here's the proof. And then you can branch out from that, all right? So anyway, without getting off on a tangent, Nibiru, man, that's this, this is, that's your foundation. It is this massive planetary system, dude, that's approaching Earth. Why haven't they said anything, man? If you don't even want to believe the conspiracy, okay, but why would they hide that from you if they weren't trying to hide something from you? Nibiru signifies a new age. Embrace it. Embrace the change. We have a beautiful future to look forward to. But we have to get through the growing pains first. We have to shake the bad habits that we've developed. We have to bust through the ignorance. We have to grow up. It's time to become a part of the universe. A functioning, responsible member of the universe. A galactic human. I wish you luck in the coming days. And just remember, when the comms go down and the lights go out and the trucking stops and the panic and the fear start to set in, focus on your inner light. That is your greatest weapon. That is the only weapon. That is what's going to get you past the obstacles that lay ahead. That's it, guys. Thanks for listening.